Hi Capricorn, welcome to your end of March love reading. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome or returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Capricorn, I'm going to take a look at a love connection you believe you have right now. So you actually have to know each other. You don't necessarily have to be together. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female. Please only take what resonates and throw away the rest. If it's not fitting for you, please don't try to make it fit. You can watch past... Um, Playlist readings, playlists are down below in the description box. I do consider all my readings timeless, along with the decks I'm using, social media links, how to reach out for personal reading. If you'd like to tip, donate, send a gift. Um, all that info is in the description as long as, and as well as the top comment. And if you're not comfortable using PayPal to tip or donate and you would like to exchange energy or tip or donate, Super Chat is open during the premiere only, so that option is available too, and if you do, thank you. So let's see what we have for you, Capricorn, at this time. So this is a Zodiac Oracle, so we could get a sign, element, or planet, and if you don't resonate with what comes out here, totally fine, sort of like a little extra bonus. So what do we have, Spirit, for Capricorn at this time in love? Thank you so much. Oh, we have water. So Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, here at water. Water is very fluid. It's healing. It's about feelings and emotions. It's a feminine energy, but it doesn't have to be. So we'll see how that plays into your reading. All right. So this deck here, first thing I'm going to do is get an opening love energy between you and your person, whoever you are thinking about at this time. And then I'll pull one for you, one for them, how you're both feeling about each other and the connection. And then we'll clarify that energy with the tarot along with the taking a look at the actual situation, advice, possible outcome, and then we'll get more messages with the mermaids here. So for Capricorn and whoever they are thinking about at this time for this love reading, what is the love energy like between Capricorn and their person at this time? Spirit, please, thank you so much. Feeling that one. And we have door to personal healing and happiness. We have 34, which is seven. Seven is a very divinely guided spiritual number. So somebody here could be healing something, and water is a very healing energy. It's very fluid, going with the flow, you know, about feelings and emotions. So somebody could be healing uh, something, and now are ready, they are ready to open up the door to um, a whole new world of happiness. So we'll see. It could be you. It could be your person. Or it could be a connection here that is very healing between the two of you, and it brings a lot of happiness to the two of you. So we'll see how that plays out. So let's get Capricorn. I'll put you here, your person there. But if you feel it any time, it's way too many. At any time you feel like the energies need to be reversed, flipped, switched, please do that. All right. So how is Capricorn feeling about their person at this time? Spirit, please. Thank you so much. Okay, that one. And then one for Capricorn's person. How are they ooh, feeling about Capricorn? All right, let's see what we have here. Goddess of the moon. So this is about listening to your intuition. It's about uh, cycles again. And I had felt that, that maybe somebody was going through something and healing something, but it's ready for a whole new like world of happiness. So the goddess of the moon can be about deep feelings, uh, emotions, intuition, you know, the moon energy, sometimes you can't see the path clearly. It can be about illusions. I don't want to say secrets or secrets coming to light. So somebody may be, you know, very um, fascinated by the moon or the moon cycles or any, or something like that. But 52-7, again, about a very spiritually divining, divinely guided energy. So two sevens here. And then your person has journey here. Number two, which is um, partnership, unity. So they've been on some kind of journey, too, also. <clears throat> maybe it's been quite a journey to get to you, whatever they've been through. So maybe they've had to heal something so they could make their journey back to you, to their happiness. Because you do see the rainbow, the rainbow there, which is about luck. And then you see the dove there for peace. So in this growth and abundance with all the greenery. And there is water there for the feelings and emotions. So... So your person, I feel like, has been on a very, uh, they also could have been on a very deep healing journey back to you, and you are their happiness. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom here. 
garden and the gate. So 30, which is three, which is teamwork, collaboration, people coming together, working together, you know, going out, celebrating. So garden and the gate. So that this girl does have the key on her chest there to open the gate, but she's not opening it. And under that, <clears throat> man holding a heart. <clears throat> so somebody here is waiting to give the other person their key to open up their heart, their gate. And it's been quite a journey to get to back to either back or to this person. <clears throat> but you, it could be you Capricorn that, you know, listen to your feelings, your emotions, your intuition, and knew this person was coming back to you after they healed, coming back to you too, to unite and come together back to the happiness. So let's see, let's see, I see what water there is about deep feelings, emotions, kind of energy it's very healing calming soothing going with the flow maybe this time you're just going to go with the flow all right so let's clarify with the tarot here i just want to say thank you to everybody who supported me in the channel thank you thank you we reached 10,000 subscribers so in honor of that i am having a deck giveaway along with a free 20 minute reading of your choice by me to enter that Check the description box and the pinned top comment on how to enter. And if you do, uh, good luck to you. All right, so Capricorn, okay. We got two here. So we do have the Seven of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. So I feel like you were confused for a time whether or not this person was actually going to make their way back to you, um, if this was actually going to come together. But the Ten of Pentacles does speak of long-term commitment, marriage uh, of some kind, happy home and family, growth, abundance, having everything you need, family, legacy of a family dynamic for generations. So I think, you know, you listen to your gut and your intuition, you kind of knew that you were going to have this with this person, but yet with the Seven of Cups feeling a little bit of that confusion, um, daydreamy kind of energy, um, options, decisions, like were they really going to decide to come back to me? So yeah, this person, Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior. So I feel like they've been on a journey here. They've been through it. Whatever their journey was, it could be anything. It could be a past relationship. It could be personal struggles. It could be family situations. Whatever their journey was, whatever their struggles were with the Nine of Wands, they definitely were fighting to get their way back to you. And we have the Ace of Swords. So that's like truth, clarity um, of the situation. So... You know, they knew deep down with truth, with clarity, cutting away things, no longer serving them, telling it like, like it is, standing up for themselves, big aha moment that you know, no matter what I've been through, what struggles I've been through, I know this is a sort of victory that I will have this happiness and victory with my person. So I don't know, maybe they couldn't communicate to you um, during the struggles here or whatever, but you know, this is about big communication. So when I feel like they've been through their struggles and they're on their journey back to you, that's when this big um, sort of victory and communication will come in. Because then now you got the Ten of Pentacles there. So you knew it was coming, but you were a little unsure still. still. But you held out and you listened to your intuition and just knew. You just knew. Because we got the garden, the gate, and the door to personal ha happiness and healing. So it's kind of like almost like the gate's closed there, but the doors are open there. So... All right, so let's see what the actual situation is for you, Capricorn. I'm feeling these two. So we have justice, exactly. So justice prevailing in this situation. You know, you're wait, you were waiting for this victory, this truth, this clarity, balancing of the scales, justice coming in. Maybe this person was getting a divorce, but you waited for justice with this person. You were waiting for that. Yeah, you were waiting. You're sad and lonely without them with the Five of Cups. You know, am I going to have my person? Am I not going to have my person? You know, the thought of not having them, you know, <laughs> I think made you feel in this kind of energy. But I think deep down you knew that, just, that justice would prevail with this person. So what else for Capricorn in their person spirit, please? Thank you so much. The Four of Swords. So that's healing. Healing, again, water is healing. No retreating, uh, thinking, contemplating kind of energy. That's between the two of you. 
So I get, you know, if they've been through a hard struggle and fight, they might have need some time alone to heal, recuperate before moving forward to you with this truth and clarity. And I feel like you've been through it too. Also, you know, emotionally, especially with the water there, and also needing to heal, you know, thinking, contemplating, you know, what's going to happen in this situation. So what else here for you and your person or Capricorn? Well, we do have the Three of Swords energy here. So this is, oh, Two of Swords. Okay, Two. So this is about, you know, maybe being indecisive or, you know, needing to make a decision here. So this person, I feel like um, Two of Swords, they definitely decided here, lovers, they wanted their person. So no matter, and as I said, struggles they've been through, here's the struggle they've been through. They were going to make it to their soulmate, their lover here. They knew, they knew. <laughs> They knew you were their soulmate, their lover, whatever. A struggle could be anything they've been through. Making their way back to you with truth and clarity. And I feel like you are needing that because you're feeling, could be male or female, feeling all, you know, up in your head like, oh, what's going to happen here? So we do have for the advice for the situation, the Hierophant. What else? The high priestess so there's the intuition so follow you know this hasn't happened yet just keep following your intuition because a commitment will come they will do what's moral just and right structure values with justice follow your intuition eight of cups yeah they're walking away from something here no longer serving them so they can walk to you and we have the two of swords out with that struggle so they're leaving that but then they need time to heal before they make their journey back to you so just know that your intuition is right that this commitment this relationship this connection will come in time what else for the advice here for capricorn please and their person the hermit yeah again that's that energy of going off alone and thinking contemplating healing finding your path your way to light so actually they are leaving what's no longer serving them Spending some time to heal, to think, to contemplate. But they know. And maybe they did have to think and contemplate about the future with you. But with the lovers here and the two of swords, I definitely feel like they're deciding after their struggles and battles. I have to make my way. See, making the lantern here, making my way. It's been a journey because you see the lantern here and the lantern here. So they're on their journey back to you. So just know that. So let's see what the outcome is, possible outcome for you and your person, Capricorn. I might title that on their journey back to you or something like that. So Capricorn, what is the possible outcome here for Capricorn? So the emperor, yeah, so they're emperor, empress, male or female, doesn't matter. It's all just energy. They're taking control of their life, taking their power back, being, you know, in charge, here, someone's taking charge, taking control, taking the lead back in their life again. The emperor, like I said, could be emperor or empress energy, doesn't matter. So, wow, <laughs> oh my gosh. So, Ace of Cups, so there's the brand new beginning in love, divinely guided. <clears throat> a lot of emotions, love, fulfillment, overflowing in every single way. So, there's a brand new beginning in love, very successful, victorious with the Six of Wands, passionate and temperance so healing balance patience so needing patience because this brand new love is coming taking control lead for success and victory and brand new love after healing and balancing needing to be patient the temperance angel brings the soulmates back together so that's reuniting coming back together success victory brand new beginning in love and taking control of their life wow so yeah and the fool here resetting at zero taking the leap of faith. Now they're ready. They reset whatever struggles they've been through and then healed from. And now they're ready for this brand new beginning of love with you. Three of Wands, you've been waiting for them to, you know, it's been a tower moment for them to get out of. And But we do have the Ten of Cups. So whatever tower moment they're going through, it's on the journey back to you to have the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, total joy, happiness, love, fulfillment in every single way possible with you. And again, the seven of wands. So being, you know, 
they're fighting here, not giving up and working on themselves, their situations, their journey, their struggles, their fights, and not giving up the thought of being with you kind of energy. Wow. So let's see. Besides uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, we have Aries, we have um, Aquarius. Oh, let's see here. We have Libra. We have Gemini. We have Taurus. We have Pisces. We have Virgo. We have Aries again. We have Sagittarius. So those are other signs I see. So with this deck here, I'm going to pull some extra messages for you to close this out. Capricorn. So I do see whatever struggles, battles they've been through, going through, they have to get through that and then heal. And then they will be on their journey, on their way back, their journey back to you for their true love, their soulmate. You're, you're a little worried, scared. It may not happen, but just keep following your intuition in your gut and knowing that this is coming for you or vice versa, however it works for you. So let's get a couple extra messages. Do ask Capricorn if you like my style and how I read my energy. Check out my channel. You like what you see. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. If you subscribe, hit the bell. You won't miss out. Get about four or five readings a month. Love, general, um, and maybe changing it and giving you um, a singles reading if you're totally single and have no one. And a no contact reading, what's going on with them. And those will probably be starting in April. And then you also get a bonus reading. So let's get some extra messages for you, Capricorn, and this love connection reading for you. Thank you so much. What do we have here? Waves of prosperity, new abundance, and exciting opportunities wash over you now. So exactly. And wash over you, again, with the water, with the feelings, emotions, and the abundance with that card there. So a lot of prosperity and abundance, especially with the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups in this connection. Don't lose hope. So I feel like they are on their journey back to you. Wow. Okay. That went flying. That went flying. <clears throat> so we have divine magic. Extra magical energy surrounds your situation right now expect miracles so this is divine intervention and here's the moon energy again so trust in the divine trust in the process trust in your intuition divine intervention is making this happen also self-forgiveness let go of old guilt and remember that you're god's perfect child so whatever that means for some of you have faith. Exactly. Your prayers in are manifesting. Remain positive and follow your guidance. Exactly. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck here. We have rest. You've been working hard. Take a nap and get some rest. So I feel like that's their energy of needing rest after the struggle they've been through to clear the path so they can go on this journey back to you and come back together with uh, two soulmates coming back together. And also take care of you. If you've been overthinking, overworking, you know, stressed out about this, if your health hasn't been good, overtired or whatever, this is reminding you too to also take care of yourself. Capricorn in half faith. Divine magic is making this happen. Okay, Capricorn, best of luck to you. I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.